Hello Leia users and welcome to the first Leia video tutorial. We are just going to go over some of the basic features of the Leia editor, how to edit text, upload images, things like that. What we're looking at now is the home page of the Leia web application. So in case you didn't know, you can edit your website, your Leia website, in one of three places. Uh, either the iOS application, the Android application, or the web application. And the web application can be found at heyleia.com. So when you get there, this is the first page you see, and you'll see that you also have this My Projects button up in the top right corner. If you were to have downloaded either the iOS or Android application and created a website and then created an account, you'd be able to click this button, sign into your account, and then begin, the, uh, begin to edit the website that you've already created. But in this particular case, we're going to build something super simple from scratch and then edit it a little bit. So we're going to click the Get Started button. Now, it gets a little funky with my computer's microphone and the one I'm using to do this video with the speech to text feature. So I'm going to click skip and just enter a keyword. In this case, we're going to build a consulting website, right? Something super generic. So I'm going to click here and type consulting. And for sake of time, I'm just going to hit just build my site. And finish. Okay, so now Leia is going out and building our website. This should only take a couple of minutes. Nope, even quicker than that. Okay, so while the web page is loading, I want to point out the URL here. So our website is currently live at a domain name that Leia gave us, which is consulting77973.site.live. We can change this to another site.live domain name for free for life, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in future videos. But for now, this is the domain name that we have, and this is the first design that Leia gave us. So we're about to be taken through a quick walkthrough, and I'm going to click through it just because this is all stuff I'm going to share in this video. Okay, so this is our web page. Now, it's obviously not permanent, right? We can change it, we can have Leia change it, and that's the first thing I'm going to show you. So if you click this Redesign Site button, you have two options. You can either get specific about the things that you like and don't like about it, or you can click this Just Redo It button. We're going to have an entire video that explains the different options you have when using this Get Specific button. So for now, just hit Just Redo It. Okay, so Leia has just built a new website, new colors, new fonts, new images, everything, and it is loading now. So redesign complete. All right, there it is. So we could do this all day long, right? We could see a hundred different versions of our website if we wanted to. And then something I want to point out is that as you do see new versions of your website, you'll have these either previous version or newer version buttons in your menu here that you can use to view the different versions that Leia gives you, right? So if you decided at this point in time that you like the original version better, you could click previous version and go back to it. And if we were to do that, we would then have a newer version button over here that we could use to revert back to this one. So you can always change between the different versions of your site that Leia gives you. Uh, but for now, for simplicity's sake, we're just going to keep this one. So the second thing that I want to show you is how to edit the text. And that's super simple. All you got to do is just click on some text on your website. It pulls it over into this text box here. And I can change it to whatever I want. And then hit Update Text and it updates it in the web page. You'll also notice that when I click on this, a slider, a font size slider appears at the bottom of the screen, which I can use to adjust the size of the font to my liking. Uh, something you'll definitely want to make sure that you do as you do adjust the font size is check out the different versions of your site on different devices right, to make sure that this font size isn't too big for an iPhone or a tablet. And the way you do that is you'd scroll to the top here and you have this little devices drop down. So on a desktop, the default viewport will be a browser, but let's check out the phone. So as you can see on a phone, that font size that I chose is a little bit too big. So I'm going to make it a little smaller. Okay. And then 
I can check it out on a tablet. All right, and then I'll go back to a browser. So you want to definitely be sure that you're constantly looking at the different versions of your site to ensure that it's responsive. So the next thing that I want to show you is the ability to change an image. So you can change standalone images like this or background images simply by clicking on them and pulling them into this edit images toolbox here. So if I click over here, that image will be shown or this image, right? you get it. So in order to change this image that I've selected I just click this browse button and then I'll have two options. I can either go to my photo library and upload one of my own photos which I can then crop and rotate and edit a little bit within the editor or I can use this search button to search through a, an image library that we have access to. So I'm going to do that and search for a consulting image. Alright and as you can see there are quite a few results to choose from. Uh, these are all free to use in your website. Just click Use Image next to one of them. All right, and as you can see, it appears here under the New Image heading. And if I click Update Image, you'll see that it replaces the one that I had selected initially. So I can then, if I didn't like this image, press Undo Change to get it back. But I'm going to keep it in there just because I like the way it looks. Okay. You'll also notice that there are a few icons throughout your page, uh, namely in the Features section here, or sometimes up in the top section Leia will throw a, an icon in here so to change those all you have to do is just click and you can search through all these different icons and choose one that you like you can also use this blank one right here if you wanted to get rid of the icon some people do for certain reasons um, but just to click on one and then press close you'll see that that's what I changed it to pretty simple the next feature I want to show you is how to shift different sections of your page up and down and that's pretty easy as well. You simply use these blue and white arrow icons in the top left corner of an individual section to move it. So let's say I wanted this about section to be the, at the top of the page. I would just click this blue button here and it would shift it up one section. Um, you cannot shift any sh sections above this top header section. Um, so this is, the, this is as high as it could go. And then you could shift it back down if you wanted to. Um, you could move any of these around as you see fit. Uh, you also have a red delete button in the top right corner of each one of these sections. So if you decided for some reason that you did not want a blog section on your page, you could simply click it. Then it'll confirm that you do want to delete it. Press OK. And then it goes away. Right? Super simple. Note also that nothing that you do within the editor itself, aside from hitting this redesign button, will be permanent unless you click the save changes button. Saving your changes is the only way to actually store any code that you've edited within this editor on the web for users to view. Okay, so don't if you end up trying to work on something and it doesn't quite work out the way you thought it was going to, if you refresh the editor, everything will be the same way it was when you first started. But you also if you do want to save your changes, make sure that you hit this often so you don't accidentally lose anything by refreshing your page, you know, without thinking about it or going pressing the back button or maybe your browser shuts down or there's there's a lot of things that can happen. Try to save your changes so you don't lose any work. Um, and then other than that, the last thing I want to show you is this view live site button. So if I click that, it'll tell me that I have unsaved changes. In this particular case, I'm going to press no, just view my site. And you'll see that it pulls it up in a new tab. So this is our live website. Anybody can go to this on their phone or tablet or computer and see exactly what we're seeing. So this is a real website, a real domain name. As I mentioned, this is what it is. This is what Leia gave us right here, this consulting 77973.site.live that we could change if we wanted to. Um, but this is how you would view your site as anybody would on their, on their computer. So that's pretty much it for this intro video. Um, we're going to get into a lot of this other stuff uh, in future videos, namely the business section, the pro section, messing around with the blog. There's lots and lots of things you can do here, and we're going to try to cover it all. So thanks for tuning in for this video, and we hope you check out the next one.